which is a universal framework dot framework which will work uh, over there on your iphone simulator and device both so how you can create this framework so i have divided into two part part one is saying like create universal framework dot framework manually then after then you can just proceed and uh, you can just do it uh, through xcode with a shell script and it will automatically create it for you so in the part one we'll understand like how universal framework you can create right which can work on your real device also it can work on your simulator as well so the universal framework if you will build it for the ios device then it will give you the error for ios simulator and if you will run it for simulator then it will give you uh, error for devices right so that thing uh, is very troubleful for uh, in a team like once you are just distributing a framework for one architecture only like erm64 or x86 uh, right so <clears throat> if you will plus them if you will just merge them you can just create a component which which can be a universal framework and that you can just share with your teams team members right so that should be in your mind and after then like once the development development will be completed then you need to remove your simulator uh, architecture from that particular fed framework right so how you can just remove this thing that i'll tell you uh, before uploading on your app store that is necessary so it will ask you for arm64 only so <clears throat> now you can just proceed to uh, those steps like first build both simulator and device environment dot framework at directory and place them on your desktop with their related names right so quickly i'll just create them on my desktop uh, with a workspace so that is my workspace where i'm just creating a workspace and this workspace will create two projects one project will be your framework and another project will be like your example project so that you need to place into the workspace only and another will be the example project there we will check like whether we need to uh, we are able to compile this framework or not in both cases simulator or device real device so that should also go into the workspace so both group and add to should be workspace then two things already created now now i want to create the workspace now uh, i want to create a framework for simulator and device both so i am just creating for it for simulator so i'll select any simulator and run this and then i'll proceed show in finder and one framework is there for the simulator same like that i need to proceed for any ios device as well i'll do this and one more framework will be there rest things if you want to create for the mac and all you can create that also but for being now like i'm just creating two things right so now i i need to check like whether this uh, device have the same architecture or non fat library is the uh, framework is not there or not right so i need to check with the lipo command if lipo is not there then you can just install it on your terminal and uh, then you can just test lipo hyphen info and this framework uh, rather than the whole path i already created the whole path here i already am there on my path of this uh, uh, framework and then i need to <coughs> check this uh, through the lipo info my framework only right so this is saying non fat file my framework is a architecture with arm64 which representing the real device so same like that i need to check it for simulator as well cd space and i need to check this thing and clear it off and lipo info will tell me like it's a non fat file framework is architecture x x86 64 okay so now i want to tell you in the module some everything is empty right now can you see except this module dot uh, dot module map right so if you will go to the iphone here also the same thing so if you want some files here related to the architecture you want 
to create a file a dummy file here you can just create which will be a any swift or objective c file so you can create a test file here and this test file will contain a public class or open class and that will be a, a class and inside that you can create a class function with the name of public class test me and this can be a test me right and <laughs> this will work over there for testing purpose as well into the example project and uh, testing test me working right test me working so now if you will see there <coughs> I, I forgot the function now now I will rebuild it again for both devices uh, and for both simulator and device so once I'll hit this it succeeded and if I will check into the real device so something is there can you see arm64 and everything is there right so now it is perfect same thing i need to do it for simulator as well then i rebuild and if you will see here into the simulator as well i'll go to the modules and will check something is there x86 4 right so it is perfect now <clears throat> Both, uh, both uh, result I want to place at desktop. So what I will do, I'll create a, I'll create a folder here, which will give me a result, and result folder will be there. Inside that, I need to place one real device framework into into my result and another will be a my workspace simulator sim work uh, framework dot framework will be there right so i have the result of both things now i can just quit this one and i can quit the xcode as well right so need to play with terminal only so what we'll do into the result till result i need to proceed right because my both frameworks are there so what i need to do I need to place CD space and I need to reach till result and then if you will see I'll LS two frameworks are there right so <clears throat> what I'm doing here inside this I need to check it out like my work my framework dot workspace I'll make it universal okay so this is my target so first what I need to do here steps if you will see I need to create an executable only so what is the executable inside that framework one black executable is there inside that framework also one black executable is there it, which is a 74 kb and another is a 74 uh, 88 kb again so in the real de device it is a little bit heavy in the simulator it is it is a little bit light right so now <clears throat> i need to merge this executable uh, with the lipo create rather than info and output will be my executable so i'm just going to create this uh, if i will just copy this properly and paste it over there into my terminal uh, at the result site it is already created this my workspace here can you see this is so now the another thing i want to do replace this my work my framework executable inside your framework which is going to be universal right that framework so i decided like i will go with this framework so I'll replace my real de device only. I'll replace the fat executable with this. Now, the second thing, second duty I have, I need to replace, uh, I need to copy some files from, from the modules, from the my work Swift modules. So dot Swift module is very important part. So what it is saying, saying the step four, copy x86 for part of my, framework dot my framework sims from my framework dot swift module and paste it into the my workspace to the swift dot swift module right so whatever there inside the my workspace dot swift module i'll copy this whole thing and if you will see in the project itself it is saying x86 right so <clears throat> i'll copy this whole thing and we'll go to the result my workspace which i replaced already the executable is fat now it is 186 can you see so you can just say 8 
uh, 8 into 2, 80, 80 KB into 2, so it's almost 186 now. So that means it's a result of simulator and uh, the both framework, right? Uh, the real device framework. Now I need to copy and paste whatever I just copied uh, from the simulator. So here, if you will see, ARM64 is there. ARM64 is there, right? So what I need to do in uh, what I need to do in the project, whatever things are there, I need to check into my uh, my simulator project, uh, and uh, I need to go to Swift dot module, and I need to copy this one, and I need to add this into my project, right? So there, if you will see, this is now two files are there for iPhone device and two files for uh, simulator same like that I need to proceed and again one by one we can go carefully and we can just select by the shift and down arrow all the three four files four files and we can just paste them to my workspace my framework dot swift module here only so now it is complete package and it is a complete uh, universal framework and that is we done that we done simple uh, with with a simple uh, style which is a manual style and uh, if i will go to the terminal again i'll check like whether it is a free, fat framework or not so i'll clear everything cd space and i'll test it i'll go there and we'll check again lipo information of that architecture so you will see architectures in the fat file is my workspace are x864 and arm64 okay so it's fantastic like it's a uh, fat framework now so now uh, i need to go back to the uh, workspace which i created so i need to go there and if i will create this uh, i'll check this into my example project that framework which will run for both the devices right so i completed i completed all the steps i want to tell you like i will copy this or i will drag this into my example project the universal framework which i created now don't worry about its internal headers and all they they will not show here only uh, the files if you will see they will show 100 percent here only so now what you need to do you can just compile this for both things right so you will import this uh, as a my framework and you can just call this a dot test me function and it will work 100 percent right so <clears throat> what you need to do now if you will go uh, to uh, the view and you will uh, you will just show the activate the console area and you will run this example project an app delegate will hit and it will give you the result like uh, i'm just uh, working properly a test me is working properly there into the simulator case we have we already tested in iphone uh, in simulator now we need to proceed in real device so you need to select any ios device arm64 before like selecting this you need to go and just check whether your provisioning profile and bundle is properly set or not otherwise it will give you the signing problem so after finishing this like you can just uh, build it with uh, from two places like from here as well build succeeded that means our framework is working for both properly so this is called universal framework and also you can just click on command plus b then also it will build so that's it from like uh, uh, framework side and we covered the all uh, six points and we can just use this iphone simulator on device and the simulator both cases right now once it will go to the app store your final product will go to the app store on that time you need to take care like uh, uh we need to uh, like uh we need to remove and make it uh, like uh, a single architecture framework which is arm64 because 
the iTunes connects like Apple App Store will not allow you to give this simulator architecture x86 right so don't forget to remove simulator architecture from your universal framework before uploading it on App Store because it will not allow right so there is a command of lipo as again lipo remove x8664 from my framework and output will be the my framework only so again i'll go to the terminal and i'll just uh, go to the result and this was our fat framework right so i'll select this path of the framework till framework i went and now i'm just removing if you will see again i will check Re lipo info is saying architecture in the fat file my framework are x8664 right so once you will remove this x86 from uh, this framework and you will clear or you will again check the lipo info then it will be architecture in fat file my framework are only arm64 so now it's perfect and good to go and uh, the once you will upload your build over there on uh, iTunes connects it will load perfectly okay so that's what uh, is the manual creation of the universal framework and it's pretty easy right in the part two like we'll come with like how we can just make all the things which we are just doing from terminal we can do it by script simply and that is the second step and generally it is uh, 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 well demand and like uh, we need to learn this as well okay thanks so in next uh, part two i'll come with that only